Now, let's work on issue number two, wizard CRUD APIs. The wizard CRUD APIs are very similar to artifact CRUD APIs. So I will leave this as a homework. Please work on the wizard CRUD APIs on your own. Before you start programming, let me show you some tips. Here is a link to the Hogwarts Artifacts Online API documentation. This should be your best friend. Make sure you read and understand this API documentation first. If you get stuck, try some object-oriented design using sequence diagram. The sequence diagram will help you visualize the control flow on the server side. And don't forget to use red, grain, and refactor test-driven development. That is, you first write a test case by following given, when, and a then step. After that, go ahead and implement the method. You may also need to use this recommended Git workflow. Step one, create a new branch called wizard-crud. Remember, do not work on the main branch directly. Always use a feature branch. Step two, work on the CRUD operations. Find all wizards, find a wizard by ID, add a wizard, update a wizard, and delete a wizard. Step three, once you finish developing the CRUD operations, switch back to the main branch and update the local main branch by using git pull. Then switch back to wizard-crud branch and merge the main branch to the wizard-crud branch. Step 5. Push wizard-crud branch to GitHub. Step 6. Create pull request. Step 7. Merge pull request. Step 8. Come back to the local branch and update local main branch. And you can do that by First, switch to main branch and git pull. One last thing. Remember to stop after step four because we will do step five and onwards together in the next video. So you're only responsible for step one to step four. Don't push the feature branch to GitHub yet. Okay, good luck. I will see you in the next video once you finish this homework.